Welcome back everybody. In this video we are going to learn how we can customize these panels and ribbon panels. So let's start by looking at, because in the last video I've shown you how you can drag and drop these panels. But we'll look at them in details now. Let's say you don't want this project browser to be here. And let's say you have two screen attached to your computer. So you want to have a more space so you could work on your project. So what you can do, you can tear it apart and you can drop it wherever you want. You can take it to the second screen as I have two screen attached to my computer. So I have a more space here to work with. Now if I bring it back, you will see this, we have this gray rectangle line there. This is basically going to snap. Let's say if I take this to the top and as you can see that it changes to the horizontal rectangle. It's like it's going to snap it there. So if I let the mouse button go, it will snap the project browser there. Now it's a very bad place to put project browser. So I'm going to trade it bound again. And if I take this to the right, as you can see, it's going to try snapping to the right. Okay, if I let the mouse button go, it will actually snap to the right of our screen. Now I can take it down again and I can snap it on the top of one palette. So I have this properties palette. If I take it on the top of that, as you can see, there's a line at the bottom, which is showing you that it's going to snap that on the top of this properties palette. So I'm going to let the mouse button go. And now we have a project browser and a properties tab. So we have two tabs here, project browser and a properties. Well, personally, I don't like to keep properties and project browser on the top of each other. And I'm going to tear it apart again. And my recommendation for you guys that if you don't have a second screen, the default position of this project browser, it's pretty good. So we're going to put it back. So I'm going to take my cursor somewhere here. And as you can see, now it's snapping. So I'm going to let it go. Now we have the properties at the bottom and we have the project browser on the top. You can apply all of these things to these panels on the ribbon as well. We'll go to the level one floor plan. So I can just drag this build panel and drop it wherever I want. I can drop it here and I can just move it to the left or right and drop in between. So you see that you can pretty much customize your user interface the way you want it. But personally, the default user interface is pretty great. But I just wanted to show you how you can work with these ballots and you can customize them, drop them in a second screen. Or if you don't have a screen, you can still move them around. Whoa! <laughs> 